Hi guys, welcome back to Drawing Club. Today we're going to be drawing Bonnie the Busy Bee. Okay, so this is Bonnie the Busy Bee. And as usual for Drawing Club, you're going to need a pencil to draw with, an eraser if you make any mistakes, a pencil sharpener if you need to sharpen your pencil, and a black marker or a black pencil crayon to outline your drawing when it's done. But as always, I am going to use this gray marker to do my drawing just so you guys can see what I'm doing a little bit better. But you should be using a pencil. Okay. So Bonnie is going to start with a kind of big egg shape right in the middle of the page. So I'm just going to make a big oval kind of an egg shape just like that. And that is Bonnie's body. Uh, for her wings, I'm going to give her two more kind of oval shapes or circle shapes just coming off the middle of her back. There's one wing and there's the other wing. Now remember, if I'm drawing too quickly, you can always pause the video to catch up. So next I'm going to draw her eyes. She has two big round eyes. One and one more. And she's got some highlights in her eyes, so I'm going to do another circle, a bigger one inside her eye. That's where the light is shining. And another one just like that. And then she's got two smaller highlights, so I'm going to do another one of those little kind of bean shapes just right next to where I did the bigger circle just like that. And she has got some eyelashes here as well, so I'm going to put those in. Just little curving lines right next to her eye. Just like that. And I'm going to make the side of this eye a little bit thicker just so we can see that's where the eyelashes come out. And I'm going to do the same to the other eye. Three curving little lines just to show her eyelashes and then a thicker line just like that. Her mouth is just a little half circle just like this and I'm going to very lightly now if you're using your pencil you could go nice and light just put two little ovals here just to show me where I'm going to color her cheeks in at the end of the drawing. Now uh, she has antenna which help her to uh, sort of smell things or sense things. So I'm going to draw those two antenna and a little ball on the end and then do another two long curving lines to make her other antenna and then another ball on the end. Um, now bees have six legs so I'm going to draw six little legs coming out of the bottom of her body here. I'm going to talk a little bit after about how a bee's body really looks because this is a kind of a cartoon. We've made it very simple and, and cute looking, but insect bodies are actually uh, very special. They have three parts and we're going to talk about that in just a moment. So those are her one, two, three, four, five, six little legs and then we'll put her stripes on. So I'm going to do a big curving line to make one of her stripes and then another big curving line to make another of her stripes or to make that one big wide stripe. Then I'm going to draw another curving line to make the next stripe. And these are the parts that we will color in darker at the end. And then a last curving line to make her last stripe. And I'm going to leave her stinger off because um, Lots of bees don't have stingers, especially bees that um, don't or are not part of a hive. So, um, so yeah, lots of bees don't actually have stingers. So I'm not going to give her a stinger. So I'm going to outline over the top of her now with my black marker. And we will do, let's start with her eyes first. And real bees have very special eyes called compound eyes and it allows them to see lots of colors that we can't really see very well, human beings, but they help 
bees to find the flowers that they need, and they see those flowers as very colorful, more colorful than we see them. And I think this bee, um, Bonnie the Busy Bee, she is a special kind of bee called a forager. And so it means that she is one of the bees that goes out of her hive and she finds flowers so that she can bring pollen back to the other bees so that they can make their honey and they can also make their royal jelly, which is something special that bees make. And a forager bee like Bonnie, when she gets back from finding a really good um, place full of lots of flowers, she does a little dance and that dance shows the other bees where they can go to find those good flowers too, which I think is pretty amazing. And in a hive, um, most of the bees that do the work are actually um, girls. The boy bees don't really do an awful lot, but the girl bees do all kinds of different jobs, like, like Bonnie, who goes out and finds the good flowers, and there are some bees, their job is just to be uh, nurses, and they take care of the baby bees. And there are other bees whose job is just to make sure that inside the hive is not too hot and not too cold. And so they actually uh, use their wings, and they can use their wings to cool down the inside of the hive, or they can heat it up if they need to. And one thing that I think is totally amazing is that there are some bees... And they only do this job in, at special times, but some bees um, can put out fires. They're kind of like fire people bees. And so if, the, if they think that there's a fire, they actually go out and they find little drops of water and they bring those drops of water back to the hive just to help to put out the fire. And you might know that bees do very important things for uh, people. They make honey, which is something that uh, human beings eat. But they also, when they go to the different flowers, uh, they help to pollinate those flowers. And that helps us to grow lots and lots of kinds of fruits, uh, nuts, and other kinds of foods. So bees are very important to people. And that's why if you see a bee, you should always be kind to them. Now, you should be careful because, you know, bees, some kinds of bees can sting, um, and, but they usually only sting if they're being very annoyed by a person. So as long as you don't annoy the bees, um, they usually don't mind people too much. There we go. There's her wings, and here's her little six legs. Now, all insects actually have six legs not just bees. Um, of course, spiders have eight legs, but spiders are a different kind of animal than an insect. There we go. So that is um, our busy bee. But like I said before, I'm going to show you very quickly that a real bee actually has a body that's quite different than the one that we drew. So a real bee has a head. Its body has three parts. So the first part is a head, then it has the next part, uh, which is called the thorax, and then it has the last part, which is called the abdomen. And they have six legs, and all of their legs are always on the middle part of their body. And they have the antenna at the front there, and their wings also come out of that middle part, their abdomen. Um, so you can see that's a bee. our bee is quite a bit more simple and a bit more cute than what a real bee looks like. And so last, I'll show you the color version of our bee. And there she is. So you can see that I used um, different yellows and a little bit of orange to color in the parts of her that are yellow. I used some brown and some black pencil crayon to color in her stripes. I used some purple and some black for her legs, some light blue for her wings, and then a mix of purple and orange and brown and black to make her eyes. But of course, you can uh, color her any color you would like. All right, thanks so much for coming again today, and I hope to see you guys again tomorrow at Drawing Club.